Hey, it's me. I'm back. I was gone for a while, but now there's snow again, so I'm back skiing. And if you've seen a couple of my recent videos of me skiing, you'll notice that my skis look a little funny. That's because all my life I've rented skis, which is something that plenty of people have pointed out. But this year, I actually bought a pair of skis. And this year, I decided I was going to possibly ruin those skis by sanding them down and putting a cool custom design on top of them. And this is how that went. This is how I made my skis look really cool, and this is how I almost ruined them. So the first step to designing your own skis is coming up with the design. So I did the most original thing ever, and I went on Google, and I searched up cool custom ski designs, and I found this really cool looking design. And then I started brainstorming ideas on what to put on this, and one of my friends suggested putting Bigfoot on it, because why not? So I decided that I was going to have Bigfoot doing a crazy trick off of a psychedelic ski slope, and that idea just kind of evolved. So I got some measurements of the ski, I drew up a template, and then I drew up a rough sketch of the design onto that template, and that's what you're seeing right here. Okay, so with my finished design, I went to the basement with the skis, tore off those bindings, and grabbed a sander. Now, if you're trying to do this yourself, and for some reason you're trusting me for advice, I started with a 120 grit sandpaper, and then after that moved to a 220 grit sandpaper, and sanding the skis gets rid of the protective coat on the skis, and it makes the paint stick to them way better. So after I sanded down the skis, I taped off the edges to get the paint off of them, and I got my paint ready. Maybe I can like... This is such like a dangerous setup. <laughs> there we go. This sucks. <laughs> Getting the edge of the ski. Okay, so what I have with me is a little test sample. I've got some spray paint. And I just went outside and put a little in a cup. And my hope is that I can paint with the spray paint like actual paint. So I'm just kind of hoping this works. So I've got a little test sample here. I've got a fan to turn on just to make sure I've got some good ventilation. Hopefully this works out and doesn't look horrible. So as you can probably tell, I was feeling really, really confident in this entire thing and definitely wasn't scared shitless that I had just ruined my brand new pair of skis. Wow, that actually, that works really well. This is like, such a thin coat and it's already almost completely covered the entire old design that's crazy wow look at that even a thin coat like that has almost completely whitened the skis that's crazy and i'm gonna do like three or so coats so that's a really good sign okay i need to grab more paint <laughs> okay i just finished the first coat or I just finished the first ski. I might do more coats tomorrow, but this thing looks insane already. It's a little rough around the edges. You can still kind of see through the coats, but I think honestly, this is really close to being good. I think up here tomorrow, I might do a little bit more work. And so far this is working out really well. All right, so yesterday I got maybe two coats on and it's looking really nice. I'm thinking it just needs a little bit more paint so I'm probably gonna do a third layer and then I think these skis are gonna be ready for some design off to a good start some design all right so now the skis are fully dry so I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna put my design on these in pencil and then I'm gonna come back down and I'm actually gonna fill them in and then that should be the end of the design process all right, so I don't have any recording of me actually putting down the pencil design, but I got it down. It was pretty quick, pretty easy to do. And you can see me here start to actually put on that blue layer. Now, if you're gonna do this yourself, one thing I'd recommend is not using an actual paintbrush, but using instead this big foamy brush that I have here. And now I start wiping up paint because I was spraying the paint outside in really cold temperatures and then putting wet paint on top of wet paint. And so that combined kind of caused this crystallization of the paint which really wasn't great and it happened a lot during this entire thing but really as long as you're spray painting in a warm area and the paint below is dry then you shouldn't get this crystal problem and after I finished getting in the blue this is what the design on the skis was looking like All 
All right, I've had a bit of a rough start with the skis, but they're really starting to come together. I've been using these paint markers, which are actually really helpful, and they're how I'm getting these really cool details, and you can really start to see the design starting to come through, and I think these are looking really, really good. I'm really happy with how these are turning out. The only thing to do is uh, keep decorating them, keep making them look sick. Here's what the design was looking like at the end of this first half of it. And the second half went way quicker. I knew what I was doing and it was looking really good. So after I got down this second part of the design, I waited a couple of days and then I put down a tarp in the basement. I got this clear coat and I did a total of three layers of this clear coat to protect the skis and the paint from getting scraped off as soon as I hit the slopes. And then I threw the bindings back on and that was the end of this entire thing. I now have one ski ready for the slopes. I'm just gonna sand that off and then this ski will be ready to go. But like, overall, this has been like, I think, nothing but a success. These things look absolutely insane. Alright, so now the obvious question is, how are they actually doing? And the answer is, really fucking good. I've skied with them a couple times now, Sugarbush twice and smugs once and if you've seen some of my videos you'll know that i have not been gentle on these things i have been going going over rocks a little bit being kind of dangerous with <laughs> how i'm treating them and they have not been chipping at all they're staying really good they're not chipping they're not failing the design still looks good as new and honestly this wasn't even that expensive i think i spent maybe a hundred dollars on all of the supplies in total 150 max and to do this with a professional would be so much more expensive. And that honestly doesn't even feel that cool. You're just like shipping it off to somebody to make it for you. Like, no, one of the big things about skiing for me is having that kind of DNA in what you're doing. And so just sending them off doesn't really feel like you, <laughs> but being able to custom design them, it's not only cheaper, but you get to have something that you made that you're proud of. And honestly, this turned out really well. I think I could have maybe done a little bit more research <laughs> before going at this, but I think the end result is really good and I would highly recommend this process for anybody who wants to make their own custom skis. Little bunny hop. Hopscotch on the mountain. 